Okay, here we are in Central Lending Library today and we have Shirley Barnes here from Leicester City Council Fostering and Adoption Team promoting the Short Break Scheme. Good afternoon, Shirley. Hello. You alright? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Good. Um, could you explain to us what the Short Breaks are? Um, short Breaks is a scheme run by Fostering. It's to provide families with disabled children with a short break, which is usually sort of two nights a month, which hopefully is a, a weekend a month, um, just to give the families a break and to give the children a different experience. So, you know, they can go swimming, they can do they can cooking, they can go to the park, they can go bowling. Um, it's generally so that the parents can have a bit of a rest and spend some time with their other children or have some sleep. <laughs> Or, Indeed. You know, have a bath in peace, all the things that you, when you're a parent you don't get. Um, and, and then the, ch the children who have been looked after by the foster carers can, can have a bit of fun as well. That sounds like a really good scheme, Shirley. Um, what kind of people are you looking for to get involved? Um, ideally, we'd like people who've got quite a bit of experience generally with children. Um, hopefully with disabled children. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that. I mean, we're looking for people that are really sort of flexible and are willing to learn and, you know, have the ability to see things from the disabled child's point of view. <coughs> Excellent. And, um, you know, if people were to get involved, what what is involved for them in being assessed as a short breaks foster carer? They would have to go through the same assessment as, all, as foster carers that foster full time. And it is a very, very lengthy, very lengthy um, process, but that is because we need to make sure that the child is going to be safe um, and we talk about all sorts of things, we talk about your experience of parenting, your experience of being a parent, what you could give to the child, how, how much you understand about the, the impact of being disabled um, and it can take three to four months really. Excellent. Oh, I can see the importance of the, uh, the safeguarding issues. That's really yeah, paramount. I mean, we have, it? Yeah, I mean, I take yeah. the view that um, my, my baseline is if I wouldn't be happy to leave my own child there, then I wouldn't be happy to leave somebody else's child there. So, and we've got to make sure the parents are secure and they feel happy. Because yeah. they're not going to enjoy the weekend if they're worrying the entire time and <laughs> their child's not safe. So. True. Um, is there any payment involved for this show? You get. Um, there is a small payment, but it's to cover expenses. It's not a, a wage. It would never, ever be a second wage. So it, it depends on how long you have the child, how much you get paid. But it is just to compensate for extra expenses. Right. And um, what sort of training would a short breaks carer get? Um, well, as part of the fostering assessment, you have to do a three-day um, skills to fostering course. Everybody that applies to foster, whatever sort of fostering they're doing, has to do that three-day course. And then post approval, there's all sorts of other other uh, there's training about autism, first aid. I mean, my view would be to recommend foster carers get on as many courses as they can because they're all interesting and you learn something each time. So um, there's plenty of training going. And if if you've got a child with a specific disability, we can try and tap into other training. Yeah. Um, because obviously, you know, some disabilities are very, very specific. Yeah. Sounds pretty comprehensive then. You seem to cover um, all the bases. I think so. Yeah. I think so. And um, what support would a short break carer get after they've been approved? They would have the support of a supervising social worker. So if somebody was applying now, um, it would be me that would be doing the assessment and it would also be me that would be supporting post-assessment um, because I've been employed specifically to, to recruit short breaks carers for disabled children so that's my role. Excellent. And would the short breaks carer always care for the same child? Yeah. The aim is to match the two families together so you get to know that child really, really well. That family gets to know you really, really well and hopefully that can go through right until they're 19 when they go on to adult services. That's great. So there's looking yeah, for continuity it's, it there. Is, it is about continuity and it's about children being happy and it being a really good, positive experience for everybody. Excellent. Now, if people are looking to get involved, do you have contact details for us? Initially, if they could just contact um, the fostering shop, yeah. and it's that's 0116 299 5800. Um, 
and we'll take it from there. Yeah, that's the initial inquiry stage. Great. Shirley, it's a pleasure to have you in the library. I think it's a really good initiative and if we can do it again sometime to, to promote I'll, such a good service. I'll hold you to that. You can hold me to that <laughs> indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now it's a reservation waiting for Mrs. Tweed. Is that for the summer? Yes.